In today's video, I'll be 100%ing and earning the Platinum in. To complete this Platinum, I'll be playing the storyline first. And then we'll be hopping on to Operations, which is a totally different game mode, but it coexists with the storyline. And for number three, we'll be hopping into Online mode, which is very difficult because I sucked at it, but I eventually got pretty decent and it's really fun. And then for number four, we'll do basic cleanup for the rest of the game to get the rest of the trophies. Real quick messages before we start, this is my very first week into the Warhammer world. I'm jumping into the lore. Right now, I'm learning about Dante, who has served over 1,000 years as a Space Marine, and Titus, who has served over 200 years as a Space Marine as of right now going into this game. So if I say something that's not accurate or pronounce something, please be patient with me. Like I said, one week into this big universe and this big lore that I'm already loving and I will definitely be getting into more. I will not be buying anything though because this is a very expensive hobby. I will buy the games, but not any of the figures because that is a lot of money. I see the money you guys spend on it and Mad respect to you guys. I don't have that type of money. The game opens up with Kodaku being invaded by Terranids, and it leads us up to one of the most badass scenes in gaming history. I might be overhyping it. It just reminds me of the good old Gears of War days, but Team Deathwatch being attacked by the Terranids and them going full berserk mode on them is absolutely incredible to me. The team ends up getting separated and we end up playing as the team kill leader. Team Deathwatch commands were to deliver a virus bomb to slow down the Terranids. But with all of us being separated, we had to go find our comrades ourselves, which we end up finding each one of them dead, and we end up finding the bomb to deliver ourselves. Once we deliver the virus bomb to slow down the Terranids, a horde of Terranids come to attack us, and we can only take on so much. We get knocked down into a pit, and come to find out, we are playing as Titus, the main man on the cover. Jeez, man. Titus. <clears throat> you still ready to fight for with this man. Like you're just ready for battle. That's what he makes you feel like. Like you're just you know you can just defeat anybody. I will take you all with me. I will take you all with me. Hey, who says that? When they're surrounded. Alright, here's where the big boy came into play. We try to hold them off as long as we can, but we can only fight for so long by ourselves. To me, this is one of the most important scenes in the video game because we wake up and the chaplain tells us we pretty much are remade from the Rubicon surgery. We are now a Primaris now who can actually take more damage on the battlefield. If I'm saying that wrong, I am sorry. That one's a very hard one to say. Primaris? He, he says it pretty cool though with his deep voice. You are a Primaris now. What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your fate? And they remade me? My duty is my fate. That, that's what I'm getting. Like, I gotta do some research what on this on my phone. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What 
is your reward. No, that's the guy that, okay. My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. That was amazing. That was, wow. Or show me. The Rubicon surgery has remade you as a Primaris Marine. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. We now take our place as an Ultramarine and end up meeting the new captain. He assigns us two new squad members. And he lets them both know that we're going to be the new lieutenant. And that does not sit well with them. Since I showed up out of nowhere and it makes them question everything. Afterwards, he gives us our new missions and tells us that we're going back to Godoku to capture the new orbital guns so we can get everyone to leave safely. Major Sarkana, 8th Cadian Regiment. Major, give me an update. The wretched beasts have taken the orbital guns. They pushed us back to this encampment under staging a heavy assault. We got this. Lirio, take Altarius and Elion and remain here to secure the encampment. Yes, brother. Major, we must reach the defense guns. Yes, my lord. Follow me. While playing the campaign, you'll get a trophy for every single mission you beat. But there'll be two trophies that we should be focusing on throughout the entire campaign. The hardest one being is Purge the Mall, where there'll be 26 enemies you have to mark throughout the entire campaign and in operations. There is no way to keep track of what enemies you have marked, so you have to get lucky and make sure just mark everything, even if you mark it five times in every single mission possible. And then there's data mining, which you can actually keep track of. There are 32 data mines throughout the campaign and in operations combined, so very easy to do. Just look it up on YouTube. That's what I did. There's a lot of them. Handle, boys. Why does this dude come after me? Oh my gosh! Relax! Why you, there are two other guys. Nope. This is a game I've been wanting forever. This is where I fell in love with the game because it is waves and waves of enemies, nonstop action, killing, slaughtering, grabbing them, cutting them up. It was insane what some of these missions actually put you through. This is where we pick up our second trophy, Furious Retribution, where we have to get 100 kills with Righteous Fury. This will be Titus's ability for the main campaign, where it gives everyone in the group a little bit more damage with their gun, and it gives them health with every kill they get and a little bit more shield. As we finally got to the facility, we got to see what the orbital gun was doing, and there was zero power going to it. Titus warns us what's about to happen, because we want to use the orbital gun to punch a hole through one of the motherships. It's... It's the hive mind, the Tyranid's powerful collective intelligence, not to be underestimated. Major, the guns are in a zero state of charge. It will take time to wake the machine spirit. Hurry! The Tyranids will throw everything they have at this facility. We fight our way to the top of the orbital gun, and of course, there are going to be more and more enemies. We turn on all the power supplies, and then we aim the guns at the mothership. Unleash the cannon. Trophy earned. Captain, get over here. Captain, I have the Mechanicus on Vox. They can wait. This is Nozick Beta 12, the Mechanicus Archmagos. Whoa. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kodaku without some data from his lab. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun imminently. Now we have one more trip to Godoku to go rescue this man and to get his data. My lord, I've lost three squads trying to reach that lab. We think something's out there. Yeah. Noted. Noted. 
You just gotta growl a little bit. You gotta sound like Shanna Sharp every now and then. You guys know what I mean. You just gotta sound like Shanna Sharp when you're playing this. A little growling every now and then. <laughs> you just squished the head of those guys. That's that's wild to me. Something oh, there it is. You gotta see that, right? Backs. You better have seen it, Timmy. Okay, Timothy? You better have seen that. I would be mad at you if you didn't. This is it. Weapons ready. Or Gabriel, if you didn't see that. I don't know if I would trust you on my team then. Yeah, see those dots right there? Acts of service. I don't know why you, like, I wanted to play with helmets off the first time, but it looks so cool with helmets on. Oh my gosh, how would you actually deal with something like this? I actually have to get a trophy right here, so I might have to reload a checkpoint every now and then. Oh, there we go. I actually got it. Nice. Nope. Oh, I thought it was it. I didn't think it was going to be the little guys. Ah! No, no, no. Okay, Fury, Fury. Now I'm just swinging because I'm scared. Oh shit! Teammates! Okay. Let's just let my let me get beat up. Dude, that guy's insane. I just got done playing Black Myth. I thought I was trained for this. Execute this bitch! <laughs> you might take down other ones, but not this guy. That was I thought I was built for this stuff. Obviously not. We end up retrieving the data and getting everything turned on. This man gets in the ship and decides to get shot down. And then you will not believe what happens next. Dang, how'd he land like that? Now, this is where I get to show off my big brain on all the research I've done because this game is absolutely amazing. So I did a lot of research. And when he said chaos, he means the forces of chaos. And he means the Thousand Suns. Because the Thousand Suns are going to be the main enemy in this game. The second main enemy in this game. And they are absolutely amazing. They are kind of like Space Marines, but they are traitors of the Space Marines. The Chaos Gods of Magic as we like to call them over here, and Warhammer. They're actually really frustrating to kill and really damn annoying, even in operations, especially if, if you play on the hardest difficulty. They get really, really annoying, but one of the most badass looking characters in this game. And I've really thought about joining them as my army if I ever picked one. As we get close to the data that we helped turned on for the doctor, we get close to it and it ends up messing with Titus for some odd reason. I'm fine. It must be the Rubicon surgery. When? Two days. Find it! What is that? That's messing with him. Whatever that is, is messing with Titus. There we go. <laughs> I, I never know, okay? It takes the forever to is withholding something. Acheron will not deceive us, Gadriel. Then where did Dimitri and Titus serve previously? And why is he back in battle so soon after such grievous surgery? Sergeant Ventiat. Lieutenant. Brother. Are you recovered? I am.
And with one doctor dead, we get another doctor that we have to find while on planet Avarax. So he can finish the Project Aurora. Come to find out, this Project Aurora is not everything that it seems. It's supposed to wipe out everything chaos, but there's also a bad side to it, of course. Stop jumping in there. I'll let you guys live, I promise. Here we go. No sign of Tyranids. The smell of burnt Icor is enough. We have what we came for. Move to the extraction zone. Trophy, baby. Target. Acquired. Captain. A minute. The Adeptus Mechanicus must be stopped. What? If they trigger the weapon, the results could be catastrophic. The way that sounds. Make sure you're suddenly an expert in Mechanicus research. They're using an artifact to power the weapon. I've seen it before, on a planet named Gryar. A traitor by the name of Nemroth called it a fragment of the Dark God's power. It almost destroyed the planet. Gryar. Titus, the Mechanicus are acting on orders approved by the Primarch. And here are you, talking of Gryar, of all places. Damn it, Captain, if Chaos is here, if they get their hands on this thing... Enough! I will hear no more on the subject. Now, did you get a location for Luz? Aye, sir. Then get down there and find him! There are those who would see you sent back to the Inquisition. Tread carefully, brother. Dude, how do you be in active service for 200 years? and get sent back lower down to like this as you guys seen there we try to warn them about what's going to happen but now it's time to go rescue the other doc okay okay calm down oh i have the sword why do i have the sword i swear i switched it last night I must have not saved my stuff no i had to maybe i wanted to use the sword i don't i don't know maybe i changed my mind like last minute and i was like you know what? i want to use the sword i want to be different Easy. Honestly, if I was a, the, a little marine, I would not stand that close. Like, I would just let the space marines handle it. Okay, this is still my kill. It's fine. He was mine. Did I get that kill, or did they steal that kill again? Jeez. Keep stealing my kills. Have the enemy infiltrated the dome? No, my lord. What about the temple of Thassium? The dome was evacuated days ago. Rejoin the main force immediately. Our orders are to remain here. On whose authority? Captain Fairburn. We are to hold this position until further notice. The dome is empty. Now move on. But, sire... I gave you an order. Forgive me, my lord. Perhaps there was a communication error. The captain insisted. The deserters. No, no, no. We have our orders. Box your captain. If you are deserters, I'll execute you myself. Damn. Captain Fairburn, come in. Captain Fairburn, come in. Oh, shit. Ambush. Oh. Yo, are you serious? That armor can't protect them from a simple bomb like that. Kill them. Oh my God. Those are the, um, those are, I'm gonna do my research. Traitors. Traitors, those are, Burn. hold on. Forces of Chaos, those are a thousand suns. Traitors of the thousand suns. Yeah, there we go. I've been learning. Oh, I'm so proud of this. <laughs> okay, let me just tag all you guys. And now I can heal. Oh, damn. 
Oh, he's about to get cooked. Now he's all by himself. Oh, oh, he's cooking. Oh, he was. Now he's about to get surrounded. Cover him. Oh man, he's going. He's going full crazy mode. I can't cover him. I don't have a long range weapon. Okay, I got my heavy weapon that I could do some coverage with. So these are like, like they have Egyptian signs on them also. So I wonder if that's like their whole thing. The traitors of all the space marines. That's what I'm I'm getting at as of right now. Explain yourself. Need I justify my hatred? You yeah. need justify your recklessness. The traitors have a debt to me. And you will throw away your life to collect. Death is my duty. Your duty is to the Emperor. You will die when and where he so chooses, not over some personal vendetta. Do you understand? Lieutenant, you should see this. That's crazy. You are told when you are supposed to die by the Emperor. Like, that is so crazy to actually think that way. What the hell is going on here? Blues must be in there. They're using some kind of shield. After all this crazy stuff going on with our comrades, we located where the dock was, and now it's time to fight the Thousand Sons and break them out. It is. Nice. Found him. Mori is loose. I owe you my existence. Come with us. As we get the dock back to base, we unlock another trophy, and everyone wants to listen to how serious the threat is now, as we're being invaded by the Thousand Sun. So now the captain and I need to find a way to get a message to Lord Calgar somehow, some way. As we get to the astropath to send the message to Calgar, we end up learning she is possessed by one of the strongest sorcerers in the Thousand Suns. What the? This dude is badass looking. Who, what is he? What, what kind of dude is that? That dude looks amazing. This is Imra who will be a great threat in this game. And he wanted Project Aurora all along to actually go as planned. Titus wanted to put a stop to it, but Imra had different plans and wanted it to go through. And when it did, all hell broke loose. I got multiple storyline trophies, another trophy for hearing all the chaplain's dialogue, another trophy for hitting 10 objects with my face, and then one more trophy for breaking a perfect combo with two perfect parries. Thank you, got it. Woo. This is where the sorcerers come into play and they can revive Marines and we have to kill one of them before they actually revive one of their own Marines. There we go, got it. Woo, us focus. Trophy arm, baby. And then we finally get one of the hardest trophies in the game, data mining. We actually collected all the data slates in one go. Let's go. Another one. Another trophy. One step closer to getting platinum. This is where Emerald's plan starts really coming into play and absolute chaos and cinema starts happening in this game. Oh. Oh, this is, this is, this is cinema. This is what gaming is. Oh my gosh. My leg is gone? Did he just say my leg is gone? That's wild. That's missing a leg. gonna be a lot of kills, boys. 
that was so cool. Oh, that's so sick. Whoever did this scene knew they were cooking. Someone's gonna come in right now, right? Oh, who is he? I don't think it goes! Badass. That was cool. Servants to the Emperor and guardians of the Imperium. Let these wretches feel the wrath of ancient vengeance. Did none of you guys are gonna yell. I would be yelling. There we go. And whoever's making this right here, this part. Whoever came up with this idea. our plan and push back the enemy especially with lord calgar's help this is where we get to face the final boss and obviously the main villain emerald who has a bunch of tricks up his sleeve but obviously we can get the job done with everyone in our squad and black myth wukong prepared me for anything at this point so i'm ready whoa fighting through it. Cinema. Barely made it. Into the abyss. When we enter the abyss, this ends up being Emra's own pocket dimension. All he wanted to do was kill Kelgar. That was his entire plan all along. This would be very big for chaos after all, but Kalgar is holding his own in the well where he is trapped. So we end up taking on the Lord of Change and end up getting sent down the well with Kalgar. We are surrounded. Kill as many as you can, brothers. They are mere imitations. All four together, we take on this entire run. army and take down everyone together. Wait, though, the, the Lord said, Go! The Lord knows what's up. survive that brother it is over you 
did it. Brother! I... I thought he died. Oh, I was afraid he died. Am I good? Rise, Titus. Your duty is not yet done. breaking the sources of power then obviously this ends everything for the chaos army finally we get back to base and now everyone wants to be nice to us and gives us our respect where respect is due we also get the loris of victory which is i guess a big massive deal in this warhammer universe this is also where we get a hint for space marine 3 which i cannot wait for because i will have a lot more research done by then then this is where chaplin actually confronts us after all because he has actually been up my ass the entire game I will brief you en route. You are joining us. I am. Very good, my lord. You have done well. You have won the trust of your brothers. And of the chapter master. But know this, Titus. The stain of suspicion never completely fades. I will be watching you. Should you falter on the path, for even a moment. I will show no mercy. Leandros. My lord, it is time. Who is that? That man ends up being Titus's old squad mate who reported him in Space Marines 1, which is a totally different storyline on its own, but it put Titus through a bunch of hell. This will be the end of Space Marines 2's campaign and also give us our final trophy for the main storyline. After beating the main campaign, I end up hopping into operations to play all six different missions. For every mission you beat, you unlock a trophy for it. Woo, baby! A trophy earned. You can play these as much as you want because you have your own character you can level up, your own weapon, and your own melee weapon, which all come into play with three different trophies. The first one being is when I reach maximum level with one class. Second one being is strongest shot is when I reach maximum level with one range weapon. Third one, sharpest edge is when I reach maximum level with one melee weapon. For the next trophy, we'll have to beat an operation mission on ruthless threat level, and I absolutely got carried in this one. I decided to hop into a cook match, put on ruthless mode. I was very low level, and these guys accepted me to it and carried me throughout the entire thing i got a lot of xp from it a lot of deaths but most importantly i got the trophy from it and also picked up 200 pickups in operation mode to unlock another trophy and then there will be one more trophy in operations called the thousand dead sons which we would have to kill over 1000 chaos enemies now we get to do the online portion which was actually pretty short and sweet i have one trophy being where i have to get five kills in a row oh there we go got the trophy baby a glorious victory is winning an online game mode Glorious victory! And then we'll have to play 10 matches in each of the modes to unlock another trophy for it. And then to end it, we'll have to win a match with every class. Now it's clean up time to get the rest of the trophies. Silence! I kill you! To get the trophy dead center, you have to play as a sniper and get 250 headshots. Oh my gosh! Dude! You gotta dodge like right when it hits you, I think. That's what I did. 
Guardian's Might has a bulwark kill 100 enemies with every available melee weapon. He'll have three different melee weapons and they're all very fun to use, especially the one where you're fisting them all. The Art of Dismemberment performed 50 unique finishers. I think this one was glitched for me because how long it took me to get. I almost missed one trophy. I had to get 1,000 Tyranid kills in operations mode. As a technical, kill 25 enemies with every available primary weapon. Kill 100 enemies using environmental hazards. Bespoke customize a full armory set for one class. As a heavy, kill 500 enemies while in heavy stance. I think this has to be one of the most annoying trophies in the game. As an assault, hit 500 total enemies with ground pound. Lightning strike as a vanguard, perform 100 gun strikes. Unhands my brother. Force a raver to release a grab squad member. I was scared of this one being the most annoying one, but it actually came easy to me. Purge them all, mark every enemy type. Or at the final stretch, I would say this is the most annoying one. It gets boring at times, but the killing is just so damn fun. Kill 20,000 enemies in all game modes combined. And that leads us to the 41st millennium. Kill 41,000 enemies in all game modes combined to get the trophy. Still a true son of the emperor. That's for you guys. I'm trying to get the execution to be the last one. I think it's gonna happen this time. This wave right here, it will happen. Everybody inside now. Yes, my lord. Join on the remains of the swarm. It will happen. Come on. One grenade. Platinum. Platinum! Still a son of the Emperor. Still a true son of the Emperor. <laughs> yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, finally, platinum for Space Marines, 50 out of 50, that looks so damn good, 0 0.1, Whew. I was looking over here, I keep looking over here because that's where I used to put my camera, but 0 0.1 ultra rare Space Marines, I don't know, I need to look, let's see, I'm going to see real quick, there are 97 people, I don't know if this will actually register as me being in the hundreds okay a big update like a week later there was 97 achievers then there's 203 now so not a lot of people have achieved this game even though there's 6,000 owners only 203 have platinum this game that might say the game's a little hard to platinum i'm not sure i think it's pretty easy we're gonna go to number three i'm i know i'm not in the top one there's no way i'm in the top 100 right yeah 100 no way possible number three okay 101 nope 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 Health plan, you guys might need it. Um, 115, right there, there's your boy. 115, okay, I'm actually happy about that. Usually I never look at this stuff, I don't care. Like I don't even have a premium for this website and a lot of people do, but for some reason, this game made me care about this and I don't like that. <laughs> Hopefully more games make me feel this way because damn, this game was so damn fun. The lore is insane. But Borderlands is definitely next. I have to hop back into that lore. I cannot forget about anything Borderlands. Warhammer community though, I absolutely love what you guys are doing. Keep it up. This stuff is insane. I love doing research on it. I've been watching a insane amount of videos, staying up way too late watching this stuff. It's so damn awesome. I think it would have to be a Space Marine just because of this game. And I would want to be on Team Death Watch. I think that's my final answer. To give you guys i want to be on team death watch i'll start off as a space marine though a basic space marine i know that's not that basic because those guys are pr badass obviously but i just you know put me as the most basic space marine there is i'll start off there i'm okay with that but it was a true honor to platinum this game <laughs> thank you guys for everything thank you guys for watching until next time i see beautiful people later god bless everyone have a fantastic day